Hi guys, Becky here, Aunt Bex Creations, and Scott is going to wrap up this project this morning, and here he is. And here's the star of our show, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be using Min Wax. I mean, there's a variety of good waxes. I mean, you could use Johnson's Paste Wax, uh, a wax that I like on old furniture a lot. It's called Antique Wax. And uh, another one that's available at Ace Hardware is uh, Brie Wax. They're, they're all good waxes. It's, I'm not very brand conscious on on waxes. You know what, what's available down the street? So if you like this uh, wax video, you should check out my paint drying videos where we watch paint dry. <laughs> and I just put a thin coat on there and then let it flash off and we'll come back and wipe it down with a soft towel. Over at uh, Home Depot I've noticed they have some uh, waxes that have tents in them that can be useful for uh, filling those small scratches in the spit in the finish. Uh, that antique wax I spoke about, it has uh, a slight tint to it. It's kind of a brown wax. It won't help you out with a deep gouge that goes all the way through the finish, but just some white surface scratches. Those tinted waxes will do a good job at helping disguise some of those little small scratches. I think I already did this one. No, I don't think so. Maybe you did. I don't know. As the solvents in the wax take off any residual stain that's sitting on top of the finish, you know, the purpose of the stain was to was to darken down the gouges where there's no finish. I see that our calico female cat has decided to join us today. Yeah, she's laying down there on the floor. She gets she gets in moods. She has her days where she's just not fit to be around. So tell them what that what it means when you say wait for the wax to flash off. What does that mean? Because some people might not know. Well, it'll uh, the solvents will dissolve out of the wax, and it'll uh, flash over. It'll have a a uh, sort of a white look. Oh. I hear helicopters. Yeah, I heard helicopters too. Usually, I mean, somebody's the local authorities are looking for somebody. And you had spoke about you might do two coats of this, so you would like yeah. put it on and then buff it. Buff it and then do it. And then do it again. Yeah, it just depends on how how it turns out. I might I might be happy with one coat. How energetic are you feeling on that particular day? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 
always turn it in the same direction so that you know you got every single tie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Howard will be glad to have his perch back. Howard likes to lay up here. Callie was up there uh, la yesterday laying under the table. She was like, oh. Becky noticed that my my gloves were all askew and all over the floor. Like they had been they had attacked been beat up. and beaten up. Like one of the cats decided, oh, those look evil. They need to be killed. I think that gets us all the way around. No, you didn't do this end. You I didn't do did. this end. Uh, no. I still smell a little bit of that stain. But again, the stain was just to fill in the little the scratches and yeah. things. So that, because like on the edge of the legs, they were all beat up. Yeah, like right there. Mm-hmm. And where there's intact finish you see that stain will just wipe off because there's solvents in this wax you could even use car wax if you want to well crafters we have a, a wax called daddy vans and it's scented with stuff like lavender and <laughs> stuff like that that antique wax it has a spicy smell to it. That makes me want to go in the kitchen and bake something. Oh. <laughs> the, the downfall of using car wax is car wax typically has silicones in it. And if you ever did decide to refinish or paint at a future date, the silicones are difficult to get off. And they will definitely interfere with finishes. The way they make uh, water beat up in your car, they'll they'll ruin a, a paint job or a refinish too. It'll <laughs> cause fish eyes defects in your finish. All right. So now we just gotta wait for it to flash over. Yep. Which, through the magic of the camera, for you it'll be one, two, three, done. All right, here we are back. We had some lunch. So now I'm just buffing the wax off. really nothing to it somebody said wax on wax off scott that's right wax on wax off can't remember who it was at this moment in time but it was one of you gals somebody clever so i think we paid Somewhere around five dollars for the table. It, yeah, it wasn't there. much, and it was all loose and everything. And he took it apart and he put it fresh glue and screws on it and firmed it up. And then he's cleaned it and added some stain. And wrap final is uh, waxing and putting it to use. I right. He got this for the a printer to sit on. It's kind of the perfect size for a printer. Yes, it is. So you know what? For what little I paid for it, and a little bit of elbow grease, I'm pretty happy. Down in the corners is always a chore. I gotta go to work here shortly. I know. That's why I say we better go and polish it a bit. See what 
what we get. So, it's not perfect. I didn't expect it to be perfect, but it's a little better. It's a little more presentable. So I think that wraps this up. All right. Polishes Thanks. it off. Polishes it off. <laughs> <laughs> Polished off this project. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more projects with Scott Does It. Bye. Scott does do it.